hello everyone welcome to my channel if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel today's topic is about how to derive race variable in dm domain from multiple race labels to understand this we will need to look into an example here we have data set in this data set we have six variables the first variable is study id and five more variables starting from race 1 to race 5. There is another important point which I want to mention here. Race 1 to race 5 also have labels. Label can be assigned to variable by a simple label statement. In here we say label followed by variable name equal to the label which we want to give. For race 1 we have set the label to be American Indian or Alaska Native and this we need to do in quotes. Now I want to discuss one last point related to data. This we can understand by looking into the first two observations wherein study ID is 001 and 002. For example, in study ID 001, we have per race 1, we have the value of 1 and remaining are missing. This indicates that this particular study ID 001 belongs to race 1. In the case of study ID 002, this belongs to race 2 and also race 4 because it has a value of 1 in the case of race 2 and race 4. So, whenever it has the value of 1, that is a non-missing value, it belongs to that particular race. Now let us look into what is the output we are looking for. The output which we want is shown in here. If there is only one non-missing value, then we need to capture that non-missing variables label. In the case of study ID 001, non-missing value is there for race 1. So we need to pick up label related to race 1. And if we have more than one non-missing value, that is in the case of 002 study ID, then we need to give the value of multiple to the race. Now that we have looked into very detail our problem, now let us see what are the concepts we need to solve this problem. The first concept we need to know is vlabel function. vlabel function captures the label of a variable. In here, I am showing an example wherein I am using vlabel function on race 1 variable. This will capture the label of race 1. Now let us quickly run our code and also proc print our results. From the results, you can see that we have created a new variable and in this we have captured the label for race 1. Now that we have looked into the concept of vlabel, now let's quickly look into the concept of SAS array and by using both SAS array and vlabel, we are going to solve this problem. Let us try to understand the concept of SAS arrays. SAS arrays are nothing more than group of variables. Now let us see what do I mean by group of variables and let us look into syntax of array. An array is defined or created by using keyword array followed by array name followed by the number of elements. In this case they are 5 and the variable names. Here I have race 1, race 2, race 3, race 4, race 5. In this fashion, we are creating an array. What is the functionality of an array is that we are going to use this array name instead of these variables. I am going to use this array name and I am going to access each of this variable which are also known as elements in this particular case. How I am going to do that? I am going to do that with the help of a do loop. So, when I have the name as B, B1 means race 1, that is first element of this array. B2 means race 2, B3 means 
raise 3. So by using this name and a loop, I can access each of this variable. So what I am doing in here is I am looping from 1 to 5. And I am using this array name B and when it is 1, I am accessing race 1. When I am starting my loop from i equal to 1 to 5, in the first scenario it will be B1 which means I am accessing race 1. Once I am done looping, I it will goes to 2. I will become 2 and this will become B2 which means I am accessing race 2. In the same case, till it loops 5, I am going to access race 3, race 4 and race 5. And let's quickly look into the logic of the code which is needed for us. Here I am saying do i equal to 1 to 5 if not missing b i then race equal to v label b i. What does that mean? When i is 1 that is I am accessing race 1. If race 1 is not missing then capture its label. Here you can see that we have captured the label of race 1. And once this whole thing is looped through, it comes to the next observation. Then again, do i equal to 1 to 5 and then when it is 1, I am going to look into race 1 and then as there is nothing there, it's not going to capture anything but you can see that it is having a value for race 2. It is going to capture that particular label as per our logic. Then it goes to race 3, race 4. In the race 4 it is going to capture again and it is going to overwrite the previous value. So you can see here it is going to capture the values from race 1 to race 5 whenever the value is not missing. But in this case, if you have seen when it has two values, it is capturing the last value. In fact, we want to change this value to multiple. How to do that? I will show in the next slide. So again, the loop from 1 to 5 will be done for second observation, then third observation, then fourth observation, then fifth observation. Now you can see that for first observation and third and fourth observation we have only one non-missing value and we were able to capture that correctly. But when you see for 2, 5 you have more than one non-missing value. So whenever we have more than one non-missing values, we should not have any value for the race here, but it should have the value of multiple. Now let us see how we can do that in the code. To do that in the code, all I am doing is, I am just adding little bit of extra code. That extra code is, I am also initiating a new variable and I am here saying count equal to zero. And you can see here the remaining code is pretty similar. So I'm also saying here if not missing bi, then do race equal to v label bi count equal to count plus one. That means when I'm looping through each of this, please capture the variable label name and also add 1 to the count. In this particular observation, that is our first observation, our count will be 1. In the similar fashion, when we are again looping through race 1 to race 5, for second observation, as we have two non-missing values, our count will become 2. To generalize, the count will have the value of 1 when there is only one value per race between 1 to 5. 
but it will have the count greater than 1 if race 1 to race 5 have more than one non missing values. Now, what we can do is we can use this logic to override the values which we have captured for study ID 002 and study ID 005 where there are more than one non missing values. So, what here I am trying to tell after we have run through all our variables if count is greater than 1 then change the race to multiple even though we have captured the labels at observation 2 and 5 as the count is greater than 1 we have changed it into multiple before wrapping up this topic i would like to mention two important points here we could have done this without using an array statement also but we would have to write lot of if statements for each race in here which becomes very cumbersome and also error prone and another important point here also i want to mention here is the array here i have mentioned here is just one style of writing an array there are multiple other ways to simplify this piece of code also and i have not discussed about this in here but i have made multiple videos on those and the link for the same i will give in the description below that's all for this topic if you have liked this topic please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you